Alrighty, family, it's the luckiest one in the building. Saturn's favorite nephew, the hood's guru, the hood's pastor. Can I get an ashe? Glory, glory, ashe. Okay, Mercury retrograde has landed, family. All right, and it's going to be stationed in Aries from the first today to the 25th. So these are the most significant things you need to know about this transit. Now, off rip, Aries is a happy solar return, Aries. All right, but Aries is a sign that leans on intuition, spirit, vision okay but mercury deals with logic family so make sure when it comes into all type of creative endeavors and pursuits you allow yourself to process all of the details to the things that you're doing at the moment it's very likely that a lot of us are all passionately riled up to birth new things but there's going to be a chance that mercury retrograde spots something that you don't spot and don't allow this signal the sign to go over your head and rush your process because you're so hyped to birth something yes this is a, i've been saying for weeks how golden of a period it is right now when it comes to transformation and cultivating new projects and our self-identity in general but mercury retrograde can be used to make sure we put the polishing detail to things when it comes into creative matters now i've been stressing since the top of airy season and eclipse season how much of a pivotal space we're in right now when it comes into transformation and birthing new things but this is the thing when mercury retrograde comes into play it can get a bit confusing understanding how things from our past complement or play out as a detriment to the things that we're creating today Aries is one of the fastest signs in the zodiac. All right, here today, gone tomorrow. Okay, so if you're working on something that your heart is in right now, but something from the past shows up, you have to be careful, you know, trying to play spiritual double dutch, participating with this and participating with that. You have to be able to understand how things from your past all right are affecting what you're working on now and you could get caught up a bit trying to juggle too many things around this time and it may feel like you can juggle a lot because airy season brings so much vitality so much life such a strong charged up like frequency vibration so that's something i want to make sure everybody is able to use their discernment with when it comes into this time nonetheless because aries is such a creative sign there will be many of us that run back into projects creative pursuits and endeavors that we left idle in the past and they're going to replay right now with significance for you to understand this is a great time to reinvent yourself or reinvent this project okay so we, we gotta tread slowly as much as possible with these type of influences airy season is very fast then mercury retrograde is in the past and it's trying to get us to slow things up and revise things all right so you see how we could get a little bit caught up at the moment guys but one thing i always stress about mercury retrograde periods is how you know things that have a bunch of potential for success can come back into your life and serve as a right period to participate with that activity okay so we just want to be mindful of what those things are and be mindful of things that you don't have the capacity to pour into at the moment because of the new things that you're birthing and then when it comes into the house that you have Aries in, this is the area where a lot of revision is going to be taking place. All right. There's already a lot of activity in there. There's about to be more planets moving into Aries in the month of April. Okay. So it's going to be a lot going on in our Aries house around this time. But with all of that being said, Mercury will be passing Chiron and the North Node in Aries two more times. So it's going to pass it as it goes into its retrograde period. And then it's going to have to pass it again once it goes direct. So now this brings new opportunities to identify the times that we didn't establish our self-identity or our individuality in that area that you have Aries in in your birth chart. So if you have Aries in a firehouse, this is most likely going to consist of opportunities to establish your self-identity and individuality with things dealing with creative expression, expression in general, and all type of creative pursuits and your visions. If you have Aries in an earth house, this is going to consist of establishing your self-identity and individuality with navigation of career space and project building. Okay. If you have Aries in an air house, this is going to be within your relationship activity straight up. And if you have Aries in a water house, this is going to be a time for you to understand how to establish your individual way of gaining stability emotionally, mentally, 
and when it comes into understanding how to follow your own intuition when it comes into what healing process works for you and keep in mind family mercury does deal with communication okay so this is going to be an opportunity to make sure we communicate from an individual space to make ends meet to once again establish our individuality to make sure people honor and respect that okay we already dibbled and dabbled with that energy a bit with mercury passing chiron in the north node when we were getting into these aries transits it was the first planet to do so okay so get ready for round two and round three family if y'all are able to keep these things in mind this could be a successful productive prosperous retrograde transit family never feel the retrograde never fear the retrograde all right it's to help us get things right through the state of revision and revising all right family and that's all i got for y'all